Hey guys, I've had a few people ask uh, how often do we need to sharpen the chain on the harvester head. Today I'm actually in the shed and I'm fixing up the broken chains, which does occur every now and then. The links in them snap when the uh, chain binds up on the fold cut. So I'll run through it today with you and uh, we'll have a look at what tools we need to get that job done. So on all of our harvesters we run the 19HX404 uh, chain. So this is a new roll that we've got here, but if every time we break a chain we put a new one on, it ended end up being quite a costly exercise. So it's good to have all the tools uh, to be able to repair the chains ourselves. So let's, uh, let's repair this chain and sharpen it up. So the first step is we need to break out this tooth here and this drive link here, because that's the one that snapped, and we'll be able to put in some new pieces and rejoin it. Okay, so by breaking out that tooth and link, we've got a nice drive link here with a good eyelet. We'll be able to place that on the pole here, just like so run this out. Now what I'm doing is these chains that I have been using, we're using them in a second thinning operation where I needed to use a bigger bar. I'm actually going to use these broken links and shorten the chain and use a smaller bar for in the first thinnings. So that's a cost effective way because then I just need to put a joining link in and not new teeth. So I've got my 87 drive link mark here. So there's the 87th. I'll just need to break out this link here and I'll be able to join it up. So we just place the two ends of the links in there, in the breaker block. Then we have another nice link. And now all we have to do is put the joining link in like so, put the top plate on, bring that over to our joiner, and rivet that up. So now that's all joined there with the new joining link and plate. Now we can get on to sharpening it. So the grinder that I use is a Tecomex Super Jolly. Uh, it's around $550, but definitely worth its value. It's got a nice hydraulic piston in here that presses against the chain every stroke that you pull down and that will hold the chain in place so that you're getting bang on angles. Um, I run the uh, cutting angle at 50 degrees, the top plate angle at 35, and the guide angle at 10. So let's sharpen this one up, and it will be good to go. Now you can see the nice sharpened tooth there compared to a dull one there. I've just got to flip it around now. So it's just as easy as unscrewing this bottom section here, rotating that around to 35 degrees on this angle, bringing it 
back to 10 from that angle. Tighten up the clamp and we can start sharpening the other covers. And that is one complete chain, fully sharpened, ready for harvest. One other tool that I do use in conjunction with the grinder is this Cyclone ABN uh, grinding disc. It's made by Dinosaur in Australia. Now, these are about $150 per disc. Uh, they are very handy. Um, they've got great ventilation slots in them. And when you're sharpening around 40 teeth in one chain, uh, the standard discs get quite warm. So this one here allows the chain to be sharpened without the tooth going blue and really prolongs the life of the tooth. Stops this part here chipping out. So when you've got that many chains to sharpen, I highly recommend getting one of these discs. Anyway, thanks for watching.